someday You know I need you So don't turn away To the end of the day I'll be alright And I'm praying for you Change your mind I'll be okay The experience is something you really can't describe just because you have to be, you know, in our shoes to kind of understand what, how much we did. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. It'll be good. Frank's gonna go crazy. Frank, Frank might go nuts. The Final Four media was actually you know, better than I thought it would be. Uh, I thought it would just be going there answering questions about the same stuff we've been talking about the whole season. But it was more than that. You know, It was fun. We got to dance around in some videos, got to do some photo shoots. So I, did, I, hated, I hated media less after the Final Four. Charles Barkley, this is for you. That stuff takes more out of you than the game. Photo shoots, media, walking around Dallas and um, you know, just kind of trying to take it all in, and but at the same time trying to get rest. So it, 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 was, it was pretty hectic, but it was a lot of fun stuff that not, not many people get to do. And you got to meet people a lot of people don't get to meet, and uh, and to do it with some of my closest friends was really cool. We are Wisconsin, no badges. I, I just think all the media attention, all the all the fan support. I think that was the, the best thing. You know, everywhere you went, fans were congratulating you. Go back. Yeah. Back to one. The, the wireless girls don't have a good sound quality, though. Well, I'm sure, because I'm just telling you. No, it's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, there was definitely um, that sense of, sense of brotherhood within the locker room every single day. Whether we're bickering or arguing or joking, um, there's just a feeling of kind of family. It seems to be that teams that get along like that and want to be with each other uh, end up doing well. And I think, I think we learned a lot last year. Of, you know, we can be an even better team if we are as tight as we've been. To me, it just looked like they were having a ball, which is the key. Their talent is obvious or became obvious to a lot of fans. I think what they really revealed to people though is that it's still basketball, it's still fun, and they had a lot of it. Uh, I, I walked in with Coach Rainey, my, my high school and college coach. And as we came through the tunnel and looked out at the, oh my goodness, this place is huge, doesn't describe it. Uh, gigantic isn't good enough. Um, awesome is, is the only word I can use right now because that's how it hit me. Like, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I feel like we're all tied. <laughs> it was definitely an eye-opening experience to see what it was like. And first practice that we had when we could get on the floor, I think on that Wednesday, uh, we walked out there and you just went, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? This is even better yet. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. The first thing I said was wow. I couldn't believe it. Uh, you know, obviously you see pictures, you see Cowboys games, but you never really understand how big that place is until you see it for yourself. And uh, being able to see it for, for ourselves and experience it all for a college basketball game was awesome. We are ready to roll, Wisconsin and Kentucky national semifinal game at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Kick out Decker, extra pass Jackson, three ball left pocket is good. Trey Jackson ties the game at five. It's between the wheels, crossover dribble, snaps off the jumper and hits it. And here comes Josh, finds Ben Russ for three, left side, nailed it. Ben Russ for three, and it's 14 to nine, Wisconsin. Timeout, Kentucky. Playing in the Dallas Stadium was obviously unlike anything I've ever played in before. I don't think I'll ever play in a stadium like that again. Moves it inside, Kaminsky catches at the left block, turns, reverse layup is good, going left to right. It felt like people were so far away. I remember uh, my friends telling me who came down to the game that they were up in the fourth deck that they got free binoculars for sitting that far away. And that's just kind of like a mind-blowing thing for a, ba a basketball game. But, you know, we adjusted to it well, and. It was a fun place to play in, and now I can say, you know, my team was a team that played in front of a record crowd. 
the back rim, no good. Rebound loose. Dukin ripped it away. Out the brust. 4 3. Book it. Julia Dukin setting up Ben Brust for the long ball. Jackson to the line. Bob back to Dukin for three straight on. Got it. Julia Dukin getting Wisconsin right back in the fight. You know, it was, it was an unforgettable experience that I definitely will remember for the rest of my life. Trayvon Jackson on the drive down the lane to the rim. Layup good. It counts and a foul. Jackson with three to shoot. Trey a shot fake. Throws one up. Short. No, but a foul. And it's a three shot foul on Andrew Harrison of Kentucky with 15.2 seconds remaining. Free throw Jackson. Rattles in for Trey. Gets two out of three. Badgers up by two. Here we go. 16.4 seconds left. Here comes Andrew Harrison to the front court. Andrew Harrison around Trey Jackson in the lane. A bounce deflected. Kick back. Andrew Harrison beats Aaron Harrison. Eight seconds. Aaron Harrison for three. Left side. It's good. He hit a three with 5.7 seconds left. Aaron Harrison strikes again. Kentucky up one. Timeout Wisconsin. 5.7 seconds to play. Looking. Throws it inbounds to Trey Jackson with five. Trey across the mid stripe with three. With two. Trey left the lane, pulls up the jump. No good. It's over. And Kentucky wins it by one. You know, you look back on afterwards, not in the moment, but you look back afterwards and say, wow, like we really were there. It really just gives us hope going forward this year. It's like we made it, but like we can do that again. And, and it's more of uh, looking at the process of how we did it and um, as a team, you know, we didn't finish it the way we wanted to, but um, we were right there. We were right there, and that's the biggest thing. You can have hope to do it again. You know, obviously we didn't get the result we wanted, but even coming back to Madison after the game, uh, people were just so proud of what we did, and that kind of, you know, put things into perspective a little bit, so it was just uh, great to see that. So many letters and so many people that I heard from after that that we kind of became America's team and people kind of liked our guys, liked the way they handled things and, uh, you know, one more basket and you're playing for a national championship. That was, uh, that was something that I know these guys will never forget. And you never know what the future holds, but there's, there's teams that have done that and then, you know, never get the magic back and there's teams that have done it and the magic returns. So hopefully we're one of those uh, teams that we can make some more good things happen.